Okay. Ooh. Always does this. All right. So 5.3. So we're looking at scheduling. Right? Um, so this time we're going to be looking at errands. Um, and the simplest way of thinking about things you have to do, like so a list, bump, 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 list, must, or must, finish, something like that. Um, there's really not that much that's in this. There's a, a few the snapshots, there's just two of them, uh, and they're dealing with conceptual signing. Um, we talked about it in ASL 1 of keeping in mind that break, we don't always mean something that's broken. We mean uh, a break, taking it easy, taking a vacation. We could mean break, taking an intermission in the middle of class or something like that. So keep in mind that we are um, we're talking about conceptual stuff more and more. So sometimes the signs... Um, you're going to want to think about what are other ways in English that I could say this. Um, so, for example, uh, babysit. Now, I talk about it in class, and when I said, hello, cat. Uh, when I talked about it in class, I mentioned that you want to, it's not babysit, right? Because you're not actually sitting on a baby. Um, but you're taking care of. So we're going to use two Ks, taking care of, taking care of. Um, baby, take care of, or children, take care of, even adults, take care of, um, whatever it is you're taking care of, uh, house sitting. So you want to get used to saying this for sitting. It's similar to sit, right? But you want to make sure that it's, it's more like work. Um, pet sitting, cat sitting, dog sitting, whatever, computer sitting. Whatever it is. So remember, you want to start thinking about this as being sitting or take care of. Um, eventually, you'll get to the point where the concept of take care of is just going to be this. And whatever the English word that comes out is, will be sit. Um, so that's that video. Um, the rationale video, I just want to jump back up. They do list, do, must. That's the vocabulary used for errand. Um, uh, you know what? I put these in the wrong order. Let me put that back up here. Boom. Okay. So the second snapshot is actually babysit. I will not remember to fix that if I don't do it right now. The first snapshot is about cleaning. So you, we know this for nice to meet you, right? Nice, nice and clean, same sign. Kind of makes sense, right? Um, we're gonna, they're not gonna talk about this in the chapter, but what they're about to show you is how we can repeat signs and change the meaning. In some ways it's the tense, uh, like we think about in English or in other languages, where we add different endings or we change the verb, clean, cleaned, cleaning, something like that. So if, if something is clean, it's nice, we do it once and it goes to the outside. Right? Um, if we repeat something, like if she in the video talks about cleaning her house and she cleaned, you know, clean, what she's literally doing is clean this room, 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 right? She repeated the action many times. And then she ends with clean, finish. So now it's finished, right? Um, could also, if you're in the process of cleaning, just circle it. I'm cleaning, cleaning. Like someone asks you, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm cleaning the house, right? I'm not done with it yet. I'm still in process, cleaning. Um, if every day you clean the same thing, if that's part of, say, your job, clean, clean, right? You repeat it every day, cleaning, or every morning, clean, 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 okay? So there's once, clean, it's clean. There is repeat. There's continuous. And then we can also add a modifier that can mean it's cleaned, clean finish, clean must, I have to do it, clean I will do it, clean I haven't done it yet, 
clean knot. So we can, there are lots of signs that we can add to clean or to pretty much any verb to show cleaner, right? So you're starting to see more ways that we can manipulate signs by putting two of them together. So this is one. They're using the example of cleaning. So there's clean, cleaning, you know, repeated cleaning, clean, finish, clean, must, must. Right. Um, so things to think about as we're building these verbs. Um, then babysit have said, okay, we did that. All right. So things you have to do, errands. Appointment, boom. Uh, it's like locking something in place, right? You are reserving the time, a reservation. If you put a reservation at a hotel, at a doctor's office, you're reserving that time. That's my time. That's my table, right? You're locking it in so no one else gets it. Reservation. Um, appointment, same thing. Cancel, just draw an X through it. So here it's on the paper. It's on your calendar. You just canceled it. Pay bills. This means debt, you know, hey, 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 put your money right here. You owe it to me, right? To owe something. And then pay, you take that and you send out the coins that you have, right? So pay, 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 pay. Bills, I pay. Um, phone call, calling, making calls. All day, I made phone calls, right? Um, Someone can call you, it comes in towards you, you can call out, um, and you can do it with both hands. So similar to what we did with cleaning, call, I'm calling them over and over and over again, no answer. Or if I was like making phone calls all day, calling, 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 lots of different people. Um, we saw schedule, right? You draw that grid on your hand. To document something or put down in the schedule, jot down. Remember with learn, we take the information from the page and put it in our head. With jot down, you put the information down on the page. I smooshed it on there so it's not going anywhere. Um, and then we did cleaning, 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 cleaning. Um, you will also see um, flat hand is usually dry cleaning sweeping up, wiping, you know, doing stuff like that, whatever. Um, if you use like this, a fist, it usually means wet. Like if you're washing windows, bathing, you wouldn't bathe with dry hands. So cleaning, washing, washing dishes, washing or washing. Okay. So you can tell if you're holding a washcloth. Here. Do you want to come up? Do you want to come up here or not? Yeah. Why? Do you want to say hi or do you want to go outside? Yeah. What? Well, come here. If you want to say hi, then you have to come up here. This is Augie. I don't know if you've met him before. If you've seen him, he will want to be part of videos. Um, so that's cleaning. So you can help me? You can help me? Okay, you can help me. Um, drop off, pick up. It's really easy. You're going to, if you've got something in your hand, you drop it off. You pick it up, you pick it up. And you can also pick up, if it's like one person or one thing, pick up something, pick up. Um, pick up the dog, drop off the dog. Most of the time we will use location. So I pick them up here, I drop them off here. So school, pick up, drop them off at work. Okay, Or you know any of the locations in space. Usually we'll have home is usually home base. And then we'll have first, second, third for the baseball softball fans, right? That's the most common places that we'll set them up in our signing space. Um, school, work, right? School, are you gonna sign with me or are you just gonna sit there? Okay. Um, prescription and medicine. So you take your middle finger and you put it in the palm of your hand and you just sort of rub it back and forth. Yes. What do you want? Oh, okay, do you wanna go outside? You pause this. And of course, he didn't want anything. Okay. Um, so prescription, medicine, pharmacy. Pick up medicine, go to the pharmacy and medicine store. Sometimes people will sign. Library. Getting books, right? Pick up book, drop off book, right? Pick up prescription. Um, 
mail mailbox uh, take a look at this um what's the sign for some variations post office I've seen post for stamp, like letter, letter office. Um, P.O., post office. No one's saying, I've never seen USPS, unless you're specifying USPS versus UPS versus FedEx, something like that. Um, dry cleaning, we saw, I, I'll be honest with you, most people I know don't use dry cleaning unless they're like dealing with suits. If they got Brooks Brothers suits, then they dry clean because they're getting paid more money than I am. So um, I laundry. So I've seen dry clean. Take a look at the what's the sign for some variations. They do, you know, pressing clothes. Um, again, I have, I think I've only signed dry cleaning in class, teaching the vocab. Um, shopping. So this means store or to sell. Um, sometimes you'll see people do this, going shopping. And it means going store to store to store to store to store. If you're going buying, buy, buy something. I buy it regularly. I'm going out buying a whole bunch of stuff continuously, right? Buy finish, right? Buy must, same as we did with cleaning. So now what is it we're buying? Food shopping or food store. We can do clothes shopping, clothes store, and clothes, okay. Um, shoe store or shoe shopping. So conceptually again, think about the difference between are you buying stuff or are you just going to the stores? Right? What's your intention? Um, doctor, so it's just tap your wrist. Um, specialist, take a look at the, what's the sign uh, for some variations, but specialist, usually it's like this, they focus on one little thing. You know, your major is this, they are focused on that. Um, specialist, uh, and sometimes people say doctor, specialist in whatever the topic is or whatever the area is. Um, I'm gonna go to veterinarian next, vet, <laughs> V-E-T, vet, or animal doctor. Because there, you know, some people could get confused with veteran. Um, so now dentist. I'm going to show you two signs for dentist. Uh, one is very safe. One has the uh, the danger of signing it wrong and meaning something very different and uh, I suppose somewhat offensive. Okay. Um, so this is the safe one. Make a little hook. You know that little invasive hook that they stick in your mouth and it goes. And you just it hurts when it gets that nerve. Dentist. So point at your teeth inside dentist. Now, I find I also, most people will do this. They'll stick out their jaw to highlight it's this is what they're going to do. They don't want dentist. Because that kind of looks like think, 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 right? Dentist, dentist. Um, the other way is dentist. And it comes from like drill or injections or something like that. And again, pushing that jaw out to emphasize it. The problem is that if you sign this high or up around the temple or above, it's the sign for asshole. It's one sign for asshole uh, and not rectum, but personality type. So you really want to be careful. You don't want to accidentally sign it like this or people will purposely go, oh, did you, did you mean that? Oh, oh, oh. And as an ASL, as a novice signer, I know I, I had some experiences where I'm like, no, I have to even get my teeth cleaned. Ugh. Just because your dentist might be that kind of personality, that's a whole nother thing. So I will recommend dentist, dentist, we go dentist. This is enough for dentist. I have to go to the dentist, but you can do dentist. Um, bump, bump, bump. Sorry for the camera's moving. Uh, so ticket. And it comes from old bus and train where they where the conductor would have a hole punch. Even if you do the uh, the railways in uh, New York and New Jersey, sometimes they'll still do a ticket where they punch your ticket, stick it in the chair above your head in the headrest. Um, so ticket, ticket to a movie, speeding, speeding. So this is like for fast 
So speeding ticket, parking ticket, it's KSU, parking tickets galore. Um, bank, B-A-N-K. It's that, it's one of those fast ones that likes called bank, bank. Um, money, money. And you can deposit, you take your two thumbs and push it in, push it in the deposit slot. Um, withdraw, this is also similar to what we do with school, with classes, WD, withdraw. You can also do money, take out. So if the, you can put it in, you can use this for deposit too. Money, I'll put in there, make a deposit, or money, I'll withdraw. You do not want to sign this, because <laughs> this means to steal, or book steal, or whatever. Don't do that. Um, money, boom, or withdraw. Um, haircut, so just chop, 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 chop. And cut here, hair dye, or hair color. It makes sense. Um, again, babysitting, house sitting, pet sitting, just like we did a few minutes ago. Meeting. Now, for meeting, here's all the people that are coming to the meeting, and you put your two thumbnails together and bring them into the middle. Meeting. So here's the table that everybody's meeting at. Meeting. So all the people are coming in to discuss. Um, even if it's like two people, you still have a meeting. Schedule meeting. Interview. And this isn't necessarily just one on one, and we use the eyes. Um, some people will do this interview. This is more English, but it's also a little bit more uh, specific than just having a conversation. If you move your body to look more formal, interview, then that definitely conveys the idea of an interview as opposed to just a conversation. So, Body language can be really important. Um, so calendar related, right? So here's the calendar. Okay. Um, plan. So if you're if you're planning something, you're. I have a plan. I plan to do something. Um, you can do again once. It can. I always have plans, plan, repeat, plan, repeat, plan. You could be planning that circular form, that continuous form, plan, finish, plan, cancel, um, plan, not yet. Um, sorry, finish, have plan, or sorry, plan, finish. Like, sorry, I'm busy, I have a plan. I have plans that night. Um, conflict, you've got two appointments that are conflicting um, and you could do appointment, appointment, conflict, plan, plan, conflict, schedule, schedule, conflict. Um, so obviously double booking, appointment, appointment, boom, can't. Change of plans, plans, change. So you kind of pinch top and bottom and then reverse, change, change. <laughs> plans messed up. So here you've got uh, a ball and it it messes up. It's a big bowl of chili that you dump on the floor, right? So plan, plans messed up. Um, skip, absent. So everybody else is here. This person's not here. Skip, absent. Postpone, and we don't use prepone, um, but it is a, a construction of English that we could do by just changing that uh, post to pre. So you can put something off. So this is when it's scheduled. I'm going to put it off to later. I'm going to postpone it. You can pull a, pull it back and we're supposed to meet tomorrow, uh, but we're going to meet today instead. We pull it back. So you pull it backwards towards yourself or you push it away. Right? And so this hand stays where it is. So if it's if you're right handed, your left hand will stay where it is and you push it to the future or you pull it to the uh, to the present or pull it back in time. Um, procrastinate is if you do this often, right? So it's going out in front. 
um, if they kept moving something earlier and you had less and less time, you could procrastinate. I don't think that's really, <laughs> I don't think that would work. Um, slack off and ditch. It's, uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it versus eh, like ditch it. Uh, screw it. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, the, the, what's the sign person is very amusing doing that. Um, so then here are the conversation starter questions and you know, that's what they say above. So take a look. Um, one of the things I want to point out is in what does your schedule look like that we do, we've shown this for all day and all night. We can use that same sort of sweeping action to show Monday to Friday or every morning, every afternoon, every night. Well, it's really showing night, 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right? So every night or every morning you can do M to F first to third, right? One to three or one to four. If you want to show a passage of time, um, So that I think is uh, conversation one. What does your schedule of uh, this week look like? Then in later ones, uh, typical day consists of, she talks about taking care of her kids, getting them dressed, or if he gets dressed, and again, it's clothing. I get dressed, boom, boom. Um, you can go or take off. They're both the same thing to leave. There are a bunch of different signs, and I believe we covered them all in ASL 1. I don't remember which chapter. Um, and then the last question of errands you enjoy, errands you detest. I'm going to give a caution about one sign. Um, because hearing people get criticized for signing it uh, incorrectly, even though I see it used in a variety of different ways, which I've been told repeatedly, are incorrect. So I avoid it. I rarely sign it. And that's kiss fist. You literally kiss the, you don't have to actually kiss it, but it comes from the mouth. It used to be, I love something about something. And it most often was about a person. Oh, oh I love that person. I love that, that about them. It's now become more generic. Um, like they're talking about, oh, he loves walking his dog. It's, I suppose it could be considered, I love my dog. I love hanging out with my dog. I love playing with my dog. I love that. Mwah. Love it. Love it. Love it. I will recommend love or enjoy Kiss Fist. It's a, it's a very deaf culture idiom. And there are some other ones that, that are like that, which I will recommend not using true biz, true biz, uh, it's like using, it's like using lingo. There are, so, there are so many words that hip kids today say that I can't say, because I just, it just sounds wrong coming out of my mouth. So until it's really comfortable, uh, until it ha happens sort of spontaneously, then it's fine. So I will recommend avoiding kiss fist. Um, love, you like something, I enjoy something, um, I hate something, Ugh, hate it. I detest it or one handed detest. And it's basically I throw up because of it. Ugh, I hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Don't like, like, don't like, uh, I don't like that. I don't enjoy. And you can always use that not. I don't enjoy laundry. I don't mind laundry. It's dishes that I hate. Ugh, gross. It's like, ugh. um, so those are the conversation starters, and there's variations in there. Um, that's it. All right. So that's 5.3. And there's some group discussions. I don't like the group discussions. I feel like the ones we do in class are so much better because they're so much more natural. Like, when do you procrastinate? We can just incorporate that in the conversation. Anyway, uh, so that is the chapter. Now I'm going to include all of the vocab that we've just gone over. Um,
There's the list. Uh, I am making the Anki decks as we speak, but those are very, very slow. Um, uh, there's a lot of steps involved in those. So uh, uh, those are coming. <laughs> I apologize, but they're coming as fast as I can because I got to get ahead on these lectures. All right, that's 5.3.